let's do an example of how to locate the epicenter for an earthquake that takes place in the United States. This is a seismograph from Salt Lake City. Here's where the P wave arrived. It was one minute. Here's where the S wave arrived. That was at four minutes. So the let's write that down. The arrival time for the P wave was one minute. The arrival time for the S wave was four minutes. So then the difference in arrival time for the P and the S wave is equal to four minutes minus one minute, which is equal to three minutes. Okay, so we know the difference in the arrival time. That's all we need to know to come to the P and the S wave chart here and to find out how far away the epicenter was. So I measure out three minutes over here on the, the scale for time. See that? Now I slide along the P and the S wave chart until I find exactly where three minutes fits. Right there, you see that? Now I drop a line straight down that little dotted line and I found it. I put a little box around it. That's 1,800 kilometers. Therefore, we now know the city is 1,800 kilometers away from the epicenter. So I go to my map right here. Now if you look right up here at the top of the map, there's a scale. And I'm going to measure out 1,800 kilometers. You see that? It's right there on the scale. Okay, that measures 1,800 kilometers. Now I'm going to take that line and I'm going to bring it down here to where uh, Salt Lake City is. Okay, just done that. See that line? That's 1,800 kilometers. I've labeled it. Now if I were to draw a circle around Salt Lake City that's exactly 1,800 kilometers in radius, like I've just done there, then anywhere on that circle we could have had the earthquake. We don't know where, but anywhere on that circle we could have had it. Okay, once again I measure out 800 kilometers up here on the scale. I measure that same distance from Houston. There's 800 kilometers. I draw the circle and as you can see this circle intersects in two spots. Now we've narrowed down how many places the earthquake could be to one of these two spots. Okay, now remember, when you guys do it, you're not doing it on the computer. You're going to be using a compass, and you're going to measure out the distance with the compass. You put one point at zero, you put one point at the distance. In this case, it would be 1,300 kilometers. And then you put one spot on the city and you are able to draw your circle. So we measure 1,300 kilometers from Savannah. We draw our circle. And as you can see, all three of these circles now intersect in one spot. Okay, so I put a box around this spot. Now, the, you haven't finished until you've actually put an X where the epicenter is. So here's my X. Okay, and now I'm finished. I have my three circles. They all intersect in a single spot. I've marked that with an X. That's where the epicenter is. That is the only place in the United States that is the correct distance from Salt Lake City, the correct distance from Savannah, and the correct distance from Houston.